Hey everyone, this is Josh Silverbauer from Great Big Digital Agency. Uh, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to uh, track a click as a goal in Google Analytics. Um, so this involves a setup in Google Tag Manager. And you can see up here, uh, I am going to go into Google Tag Manager. Um, and we're going to pretend that this is like a fresh new Google Tag Manager. Um, but I'm going to basically create a click uh, trigger and I'm going to create a uh, click tag, and then we're gonna push it into Google Analytics and uh, track it as a goal in Google Analytics, okay? So the first thing we're gonna need to do um, when we want to track clicks in Google Analytics is go into uh, our trigger section in Google Tag Manager. Uh, this assumes that you've already have uh, Google Analytics um, set up in Google Tag Manager. Um, if you do not, uh, please refer to our other blog um, that uh, teaches you how to implement Google Analytics into Google Tag Manager. Um, so if you uh, want to track clicks, the first thing that I always do is create a basic uh, click trigger. You can see this here. So basically what I'm doing is I'm putting in a uh, click tr uh, basic click trigger that cl uh, tracks all clicks on my website. Um, once you do that, you now have to your website and um, once you turn on preview mode here, so if I, I turn on preview mode um, up here, uh, and then once you have click trigger implemented, when you click around, just gonna get rid of me, uh, when you click around on the screen here, you should see clicks that are pertaining to where I am clicking. So for instance, if I uh, click on uh, this phone number here um, and I take a look in here, I should see that I just clicked on a link and that link has my click text in here. Now, uh, before, if you were to just put on a click trigger um, without doing this next step, you would not see those click variables. So we have to enable click variables. Out of the box, Google Tag Manager only comes with a few basic click uh, built-in variables enabled. Um, and that's like page URL, page path. So we need to actually go into configure here and add um, any variable that you want. You can see there's a whole list of built-in variables that you can enable. I usually enable them all. Uh, you don't really need them all all the time. Uh, so you could just uh, enable these click, um, these ones that are nested under this click category. That'll allow you to see uh, click variables, uh, which is when I was taking a look down here, you can see in here that I have everything that I would really need to determine, um, for instance, if we're gonna try to push in um, telephone clicks, uh, when people click on a telephone um, uh, link on the, the website, we wanna track um, you know, where uh, people are coming from, what page they're on when they uh, click the uh, telephone uh, on our website. So this is what we're gonna try to um, uh, use as a, a tag right now and as a goal and set up. So we want to go into um, back into Tag Manager, and we see the, that we have uh, the click class, which is a link here, and the click element has telephone. So we want to track all the different telephone um, call, like when people click uh, on a telephone link, we want to be able to track that in Google Analytics as a goal. Um, so we're going to go back into Tag Manager now that we have everything enabled, and we're going to actually build the, the trigger. Um, so I am going to go into uh, a new trigger and I'm going to enable all elements here and I'm just going to use some clicks and we're going to go back to the variables that we just saw and I'm going to use these two. I'm going to use click classes and click element um, and that's going to allow me to pull in specifically this information about this click and define it and say only fire this um, tag that I'm about to build when um, these two things are true. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go in and uh, do the click class, which was link. And I'm going to add the click element. And I'm just going to say contains tail um, because that usually means um, that way it'll pull in every single telephone click when it when it finds tail in the um, the click element it'll push this tag and um, if you know much about coding usually when there's somebody clicks on a um, telephone link this is usually found in that um, element or the URL 
So uh, I'm going to call this phone call click. And what we're going to do is I'm going to go into my tags now. And I'm going to build a tag using this trigger. Um, so I'm going to go into new. And I'm going to, this is going to be a Google Analytics tag. And this is going to be an event. Uh, we want this to fire an event when somebody clicks that tag uh, or clicks that telephone link. So this is going to be, I'm going to just put in whatever I want here. This is going to be phone uh, call or phone call. And then we'll say click. And then the label, because the uh, phone call um, or the telephone link exists in my footer, um, it could really be on any page. And I think it would be very helpful to have insight into which page uh, people are clicking our, our phone uh, number on. So I'm actually going to, instead of just putting in something static in here, um, I'm actually going to click this little gear box and I'm going to find the page path, um, which is going to push in whatever page they're on with um, in a clean way. Uh, so the page path basically uh, pushes in the subfolder um, of the uh, web URL that they're on without any like query strings, which are like question marks and, and hashtags. So it's a nice clean URL that we can grab and it's going to be dynamic. So wherever they click, it's going to be on that. Um, so then I'm just going, I'm going to find the trigger that we just made. This, is this phone call click here. We can see in here contains link, contains tell. That's what we are, our um, criteria was. So now I have this, I'm going to label it. Okay. So once this is labeled, um, oh, it's going to ask me to which uh, Google Analytics uh, do I want to send it to? So I'm going to say this Google Analytics main. And then um, you, you would need to set up a Google Analytics settings. Again, if you don't know how to do that, uh, you can check out our other tutorial uh, on how to set one up. Uh, but you're going to save this. And you're going to refresh. And um, once you refresh the preview mode, we should be able to see it now um, if we if we click the button. So because it's in the footer, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna minimize the debug screen here. So I refreshed our screen, so everything is refreshed, so that I can see the new data in here. And I can see as I as I go down here, if I were to look for phone button a phone call click tag, which is what we just built, that's in there now available. So now I want to make sure it fires. So I'm gonna click this again. And I'm going to look at the clicks and we can see here that um, the phone call click tag did fire. And I want to take a look at uh, some of the information. So the category is phone call. Um, the action is click. And we can see here that um, the label is contact because I was on the contact page when somebody clicked it um, or when I clicked it. So now we have confirmed that it's firing. So we need to go into Google Analytics and um, I'm just going to make sure that the Google, it's, it's pull, pushing into the right Google Analytics here. So I'm going to go into my real time and I'm going to take a look and just to see in my events if I'm getting data. So we did do see this phone call here, right? So we're pretty much almost ready to create a goal. So the last thing I really need to do in Tag Manager is I just need to submit it and publish, right? Everything's there. Um, so all we need to do now is just publish it and it'll push it live. Um, so once you do that, you can now go over to Google Analytics and we need, to, we need to set up a goal because right now it's firing as event and it doesn't know, Google Analytics doesn't know that you actually want this event as an actual goal that you, you know, see um, all your, your source information up against, um, see where people are coming from when they click contact or whatever else, uh, whatever other data you really wanna understand up against this new goal. So we need to create a new goal and this is going to be a, a custom goal. And um, we're going to put in phone call, um, click, right? Uh, and then we're going to create an event. This is going to be an event. And really the only thing that we need to do is make sure it matches the event that we just built in Google Tag Manager. So we're going to find the event that we just created, this phone call click tag. And we're just going to make sure that the two dynamic, the two static fields that are in category and action match in here. So we have phone call 
in category and then click in action. Um, and then we can leave the label blank because that's going to pull in um, whatever is basically uh, in the dynamic field uh, that is being provided to Google Analytics. So really, we, we only need these two sections. Um, and if you have, if you are, if you already previously had this tag um, set up, you could verify the goal, but it won't have any data right now because we just built it. So uh, it's going to say zero, but this should pull it in and we're going to, we're going to test it just to make sure. So I'm going to save this as a goal. So now it's a goal in Google Analytics and I'm going to go back to my real time. And instead of events this time, I'm going to go into conversions. I'm going to check my conversions. And I'm just going to uh, do it one more time. Um, I'm going to refresh the page. And once uh, it loads, I can now uh, click that button. And I just click the link here. And we should see uh, back in analytics that in a second here, it should trigger this as a goal conversion. And there we go. We now have one phone call click conversion and uh, we just push that into Google Analytics. So that is how you uh, track a click as a goal in Google Analytics with the help of Google Tag Manager. And um, yeah, uh, check back for our next tutorial.